One of my friends from high school, she moved down here and had nobody to take care of her pet. And she said, um, hey, will you take care of my dogs while I'm away and I'll pay you for it. And it just kind of blossomed from there. I own two companies, Fur Baby Pet Sitters and Fur Baby Desserts. And um, for baby pet sitters, uh, you can request to do a meet and greet with one of the sitters. We have 14 sitters who work um, covering the entire Raleigh area. Um, and you can request a meet and greet online or email us um, through the website as well, um, letting us know exactly what you're looking for um, in order to take care of your pet. The whole fur baby team who we've met is amazing. Audra um, has made it so easy for us to feel comfortable leaving Lily. Um, I think Lily loves Audra as much as she does anyone. <laughs> um, and we just feel really confident that she's happy and well taken care of and they've always just done an amazing job. In terms of the actual treats, um, you can order at, on our website, which is furbabydesserts.com. We're also in six different stores locally as well, including Raleigh Provisions, Pet Wants East Raleigh, City Pet Groomers, and Violet Cottage here locally. One of the things about the treats is that we give back to local charities and rescues in the area. So that's part of it too, as we give 3% back to, 3% uh, of sales each quarter back to um, a rescue or shelter that's local to help dogs in need. Both my companies are involved with Shop, Lock, Shop Local Raleigh. Um, one of them, uh, we, well, we do the annual Christmas parade every year, but we also get featured as well um, on their social media, and social media is a huge thing for us. Um, seeing the dogs, everybody loves, you know, seeing their pets and their fur babies. Um, on online and they become halfway insta famous through Shop Local Raleigh. Um, but also, um, you know, both Jennifer, Martin, and Sarah are really good at reaching out and engaging the community. We actually, um, last year with Fur Baby Desserts, when we launched, we did the Falling for Local, which was their first event over at um, Dorothea Dix Park, and it was absolutely amazing to see the turnout. Everybody had a really good time. Um, the vendors seemed to be extremely happy. I know I was. Um, and it was just a really cool family event. <laughs>